Hey guys, thanks for tuning into my webcast. Well, it's official. Mohamed Morsi is now the new Pharaoh of Egypt. Some are uh, on, especially on Twitter, uh, there's a hashtag going around uh, by the sort of text of Morsellini. Um, apparently, these new sweeping powers that he's given the the presidency, he's given himself. Uh, makes him supreme, uh, it makes him untouchable, um, even the judiciary as an organization cannot overrule his um, uh, legislation once it gets to, you know, to, the, to, pull, to the point where he's legislating law. Um, I, I tell you, this, this sounds pretty much like a, a dictatorship to me, um, and I, this is the question that comes to mind. Why is it that Countries of the MENA region, the Middle East, North Africa, they go through the painstaking effort of starting and creating a revolution. A lot of lives are lost, a lot of hopes are shattered, and then they turn it into back into a dictatorship. The whole idea of getting rid of a dictator is not to replace it with another one. The idea is to give people the power, the ability to choose their leaders. Um, every four years, five year term, and you know, check and, and have systems of checks and balance in place. Not to have one guy basically, you know, sitting on the throne for 30, 40 years and, and acting all supreme. Um, speaking of supreme, I, I can't help not thinking about the supremeness of what happened in the 1979 revolution in Iran. Again, it started out with so much hope, so much optimism, and yet it was crushed because the politics of the Middle East is a zero-sum game. In order for one to win, everyone else has to lose. Not a good way of starting out a democracy or a revolution with a lot of hope. Thanks for tuning into my webcast. I'll talk to you soon.